The media will make a story out of anything. 90% of their stories is grasping at straws. 80% of their stories is about LeBron James and LeVar Ball. 65% of their stories is ridicule. <laughs> Denigrating a nigga for some shit that they have no business talking about in the realm of sports. You're talking about LeBron James. You're talking about what he's doing in basketball games. Or at his kids' basketball games, I should say. You're saying you don't condone it as a father. You're saying he's overstepping his boundaries as a father. Well, for one, point out the obvious for one. You talk about black fathers and the stigma on black fathers. It's they're not there as much. So now you have a nigga that's there much within his busy, busy ass schedule of being LeBron James gets to go to his son's game and watch his son play ball. Now, you have that someone who is there, so you can't ridicule him for being absent in his son's life, which you want to do when you stigmatize the black man. Can't do that. So now you get on him for doing too much. <laughs> for quote unquote stealing the show. But let me tell you nigga something. Years ago, when LeBron James' son been playing, they put that shit on ESPN, and they would show LeBron James sitting down, chilling. They would show LeBron James sitting down, applauding. It is not up to him whether or not he going to steal a show or not. You talking about he's doing those fantastic dunks in the layup lines. He's going, nigga, nigga. <laughs> if you're one of them kids, if you're LeBron James' If you a teammate of LeBron James, son, and shit, that's a, a spectacular experience. If you're a son of LeBron James and your dad is doing that shit, <laughs> that's an experience. We look at it from this one lens of he's stealing the limelight. Do you know how much fucking limelight LeBron James has had in the last 15 years? That's probably the most said name in America. So to think... Oh, I'm doing this for pub notoriety. I understand that lens. Jason Whitlock. But to to minimalize what he's doing to that lens, I ain't got nothing to say other than you another donkey of the day. You back again. You show your face again. When I hear Jason Whitlock speak, I can't help but to think of a top hat with the Red shit around his lips. A minstrel show. Something that makes people look at my people like clowns. Like they're unworthy. Like they're inappropriate. That's his thing. He loves saying a black man is out of line for what they're doing. He said Cap shouldn't be near. And now LeBron can't get in layup lines with his son and his son's friends. Imagine having a dad who could do that. <laughs> Throw a lob off the back. You think the kid is jealous? You think a kid going to be jealous of their... That's their dad, nigga. Shit is crazy. It shouldn't be a subject. This shouldn't be something that you should be talking about. Or, and the only reason why I'm talking about it is because they shouldn't be talking about it. Not to give that situation more light, but because it does have light, let's point out the positive outlook or... The outlook that we can learn from, from this situation. That's a black parent in which you stigmatize for not being there. And he's there. And he's, he don't have to do what, he don't have to be there. He don't have to go and lay up lines and participate with the kids. That's LeBron James. <laughs> so for him to be the object of ridicule on a number, on a number of accounts right now, it's crazy. You got somebody... Blake or I forgot whatever the nigga something Griffin David Griffin saying it was hell just defaming his name again it's like what's up with you niggas code of conduct y'all have no problem with shaming somebody publicly what's up with you niggas code of conduct Jason Whitlock black man ain't nobody talk to him behind the scenes like hey man what you doing is man 
you you polarizing us in a negative way. You making them look at us like we we clowns. 